Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to recreate this beautiful farmhouse stand using mostly Dollar Tree materials. Uh, if you have your paint on hand, this project will cost you around $3. So let's get into the materials. Most of the materials needed to recreate this farmhouse stand can be found at Dollar Tree. You will need to pick up a pack of the metal burner covers and we will be using the larger of the two burner covers as the top to our farmhouse stand. A galvanized metal bucket or a bucket of this shape. Paint color of your choice. I'm going with white for the chipped enamel look. E6000 or Gorilla Glue Epoxy, brown paint for the rust shading, a black permanent marker or a Sharpie, angled paintbrush or paintbrush of your choice, hot glue gun and glue sticks, and one strand of the beaded necklace. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, glue everything together uh, with a little bit of E6000 and also some hot glue. And that will help to secure it long-term and also secure it temporarily while the um, E6000 is drying. If all you have is hot glue, that's fine, but it won't hold up as long. And um, so it's really best just to use the hot glue as a um, temporary hold while the E6000 dries. So uh, I'm going to kind of find the center and you can measure this or just eyeball it and I'm just going to eyeball it right now. And what I will do is take a marker and kind of mark around the edges once I feel like it looks like it's centered and good in a good spot. Um, that way I can go back and find where it was. So I will mark it and then we will go back and um, add the glue and get it glued together. This is the marking that I made. So now I'm going to go around with my E6000 on the rim and go ahead and get that saturated really good. going to um, cut the beads and just kind of uh, pick a spot to cut so that it's open and then we're going to go along the edges and we're going to add the beads if you want this detail if you don't want this detail that's fine too so you can skip this part but if not um, I will recommend you be very um, slow and tedious with this part because it can be a little bit of a pain and what I'll do is add like a drop of hot glue add a few um, add a little bit of E6000, go around, add a hot, drop of hot glue and kind of alternate them so that they're getting that temporary and permanent hold.
as you get to the very end, um, there will be like one little piece or like two little beads that need to be cut off. You'll just cut them off and then they'll glue right in and line up and then we'll be ready to paint. Okay, and now that it's dry, we are going to be doing a dry brushing technique uh, with the uh, brown color to simulate rust. And what I am using is Folk Art Real Brown, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Any brown will work. And you're just gonna take your brush and dry brushing again is where you are going to dip your um, brush in the paint and kind of brush off the excess and just keep it very lightly saturated, not much at all. And then you're going to go over the area where rust naturally occurs. So around the base of um, the pot and around the creases. And we're also going to go over the beading a little bit and just lightly, um, lightly brush to give just that little bit of shadowing. And um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can really um, be as little or as um, much as you want. And, you know, that's the fun thing about the whole farmhouse um, decor and the farmhouse things is they don't have to be perfect and you can really make them your own. So have fun with it. and do a little bit of stippling and that's again a uh, just dry brushing and just barely marking over the black marks that were made.
and this is the final project so if you guys have enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will be posting more videos in the dollar tree farmhouse affordable diys and i um, would be very open to hearing suggestions of what you guys would like to see and leave me a comment below and i will try to execute that for you guys so i will see you in my next video bye